With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question says that a batch of bottles were packed in twenty-five boxes with twelve bottles in each box. So one box contained twelve bottles, and there are twenty-five such boxes. This, if the same batch, same batch means the total number of bottles are same, is packed using twenty bottles in each box. This time, if twenty bottles are kept in each box, how many boxes? How many boxes would be filled? So the question is, how many boxes would be filled if twenty bottles are kept in each box instead of twelve bottles in each box? Uh, where the condition is that the batch of bottles is same. That means total bottles are same. So, writing down what has been given in the question, we are given the number of boxes. Let's denote it by x. And number of bottles in each box. Number of bottles in each box is y. Now, we are given in the first case that there are twenty-five boxes, twenty-five boxes, and there are twelve bottles in each box. In the second case, there are twenty bottles in each box, and we are supposed to find out the number of boxes that will be required. The number of boxes which is not known, so let's denote it by x two. Now we are to find the value of x two. Now what we can observe is that that if the number of bottles are number of bottles that are kept in each box is increased, then we will require less number of total boxes to fill the or to complete the total batch of bottles. That means there is an Inverse variation. There is a there is an inverse variation between number of boxes and number of bottles kept in each box. So this is a case of inverse variation, and we know that when two quantities, for example here x and y, are in inverse variation, then we have the following formula, and the formula is that. x y or the product of x and y is always a constant when x and y are in inverse variation so we can write that from from here we can write that x1 y1 x1 multiplied by y1 will always equal to x2 multiplied by y2 now we will put in the values That are given in the question and find the value of x2. In this case, x1 is equals to 25, so we will write 25 multiplied by y1 is equals to 12. y1 is equals to 12 is equals to x2 is something that we are supposed to find out, and y2 is 20. So solving it further, we will get 20 x2 is equals to 25 multiplied by 12 will give us 300 will give us 300 now 20 is getting multiplied by here so when it will go to the right hand side of the equation it will get turned into a division so we will have 1 by 20 multiplied by 300 which will be further solved to x2 is equals to 15 so we were asked to find out the number of boxes that would be filled so the answer is 15 boxes will be filled Fifteen boxes will be filled. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.